And look at that, we're doing the we're doing the Asian one. Wow, so quick, so fast. So yeah, go on what you say. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome guys to Snowfall Reviews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go on. Sad to see uh, like all of middle middle uh, Middle Asia just, just fucking fucked. Uh, it's just gone. It's yeah. Like even after Golden Horde got that huge vassalage on um Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Let me tag to G L H. Yeah. I uh, got on to Corson. Like that huge fucking vassal. He fucked over Timurids, then he got fucked him uh fucked himself. And so like it fucked over two people at once. And then Mamluks got yeah. fucked over like two sessions pre hand and then he had some hope and then the hope got crushed and it's just like Wow. Sad, sad to see like that like this huge gap in the middle of yeah <laughs> the map just gone yeah it's just this Basically whole just free it's just yeah. this whole fucking thing right here just gone it's just it's just gone it's just oh but there's still Kilwa. there's still Mewa, which is going to become big because it's um Serkis. and people don't know Serkis is fucking insane uh <laughs> bahaman <laughs> like He's, I don't know, compared to Jamie, he may be better, he may be worse, I don't fucking know. Um, Bahamanas, uh, dropped out as well and needs a fucking player, but, but Maywa is also attacking into that, like, dude, Asia's thrown into such a fucking turmoil right now because of the players that dropped. Japan but is, Japan and Manchu are secured for, like, life. Yeah, they're well, basically not for married. life, but they're secured for like the next twenty years. Hundred percent, they're mm -hmm. secured for the like the at least the next twenty thirty years. However, yeah, yeah it's 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 a little fucked. There's going to be a European clusterfuck over the Granary provinces in um, Egypt and shit, just because they want that twenty percent force limit from the training grain modifier. Ruthenia is not going to worry about Europe, like, at all, unless Brandenburg wants it to. And he's going to push into... Oh, that's a march of Ireland? Okay. So he's going to push into Golden Horde and Muscovite areas. Uh, Hungary's... Oh, sorry. Hungary's going to push into Middle East. Uh, Spain's going to push along the coast here. Like, Mamluk is going to be cut up into a million fucking pieces. Uh, Kilwa... Okay. Let's let's tag to Kilwa. Let's let's look at Kilwa. Ah, ah, KLW. Ah, what is it? KLA. I don't know. <laughs> Debug underscore mode. It's Zanzibar, right? I always forget that every fucking time. It's so weird that it's Zanzibar. Okay, so. Kilwa may want to go up into the north and like fight a Durin and fight Mamluks, but I doubt it. I are you, he's are you got... sure not France is gonna take advantage of that? Exactly, take, uh... exactly. He's got so, that would... 54k yeah. right here. It's 16 tech versus 17 tech plus Western tech, which is starting to take over at this point. So it's kind of like, uh like you know how it feels to be uh to be African versus European tech, am I right? <laughs> no, that was Holy Victor. Wait, was it you? Who did I kill? One of you. One of you fucking Scandinavian Both, fucks. Probably. I don't know. One of you was Killwall, one of you was um Mali. And I came down as Dutch and fucked you all. But uh yeah. <laughs> I think one of you wasn't here for the session or something, I don't know. But yeah, with this French nation here. I'd be very conservative yeah, I, as Kilwa. I don't see him fighting uh, Mamluks if they have France on their back. Especially with only 130k manpower? Like, something's wrong here, bro. What's his debt? It's 4% interest debt? What the fuck was he fighting? To take actual debt? Like, he can take... Uh, he's maxed out his burgers. Okay, so... Let's see here. Um, commercial... Settler Chance. Settler Chance is alright. Uh, how much land do you have to colonize? Settler Chance is shit. Uh... <laughs> so, I'd get rid of the Grant New World Charters, and I'd take, um... The... 
what's it called? Uh, debt, the merchant debt thing. I take the seas land right now. Wait, no, yeah, I take the seas land. No, fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck you. All right. You, you sure about that? Shut the fuck. <laughs> shut the fuck up. No, okay, I didn't look at the rest of the loyalties estate. Uh, rest of the est state's loyalty. Um, you'd sell land, I assume, to get it over the thirty percent, uh, the thirty-five percent, and then you take land. Because when you sell that, oh, don't want to cancel game. Uh, when you take land from the estates, that means you get less land when you sell. So, right now it's 34, 45, yeah, so it's the Demi that are down, right? So you sell titles for 1400 grand, and then you take 1400 grand, 1400, yeah, I don't care. What? Do Demi just not get loyalty? What? That seems weird. That seems very weird. All sta all estates should get loyalty. Unless, unless estates, uh, unless the Demi have 0% uh, crown land, like 0% land influence. In which case they get no land, in which case they don't get any loyalty. I feel like that's maybe what happened can... here. I guess we can check real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they have uh... loyalty. What the fuck? Demi should get to the estate. Yeah, they should get 40... What? All estates gain 10% loyalty, and then you do this. Are they actually at 29? No, they're at 30. What? So normally, alright, estates revolt when they're below 30% loyalty. So you click the sale of a titles button, and they go to 40%, then you take land from them if you're pedantic or whatever, and they stay above 30%. But for some reason, it's just fucking up and just going, fuck you. Right now, though, as Zanzibar, you, as Kilwa, you could take the land, and you could go to that 24%, take that little 10% tax. Oh no, 10% tax? <laughs> Who gives a shit? Um, and get that extra 1,400 fucking ducats and build shit. Pay off debt, because, like, this debt is actually proper debt. You pay off that debt, you get an extra bit of money. Um, and then you, uh, start building. The things that I recommend to start building is manpower buildings. Just because you need that manpower. Soldier households, just because you need the manpower. Because your manpower is really fucking low for some reason. Uh, might be because of... No, you got 0% on most things. I would just, like, don't dev, uh, uh that's manpower right. then? He's got this area not dev. He's got this area not stated. Um... Probably for the best. Like, since he is gonna yeah, lose it. Might, he <laughs> might lose it, yeah. Depending on his diplo. If he gets Ireland as an ally and, like, makes France go, Oh, I don't really want to fight that. You know, you can have that kind of diplo kind of shit. Because normally, Ireland, Tuscany, whatever, wants to take Congo. Because these, uh... That's not what I want to look at. These, like that Inland Trade Center, Inland Trade Center, Inland Trade Center. I think there's one here as well. Inland Trade Center. That's so many three level in Inland Trade Centers that you can change to uh, manpower pools. And, like, there's decent goods in there as well. Like, there's slaves in some of them, but there's yeah. two grain there. There's a bit of man... There's a bit of a... Fucking whatever here. It, uh, that might livestock. be one of them. <laughs> and then there's... Yeah, livestock. And then there's the slaves, which have a chance to change to um, good stuff. But then you still dev it, and you still get that 33% extra manpower from the level 3 inland train center. Trade center. And, um... Like, you get that extra manpower and whatnot. And, like, that's the point of taking the Congo as a European. That's the point of taking Congo as fucking anybody. Is to get that extra manpower. And, like... That's so, still a level yep. 1 trade center? Yeah, yeah, it's still level 1 all over. Uh, it's level 2 up here. And it's probably level 2 here. Yeah. So level 3 is all round. Which means you're going to have to make uh, trade companies. 
in other areas, which is going to be hard, or take trade ideas, one of the two, just to get more merchants to make more trade, uh, level 3 trade companies, uh, level 3 centers of trade, kind of shit, so that you get more manpower, which is the meta of this patch, and then you make manpower buildings, you make soldier households, whatever, 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 and... So, like, that's what you need to focus on. So, Ireland right now doesn't have any fucking, um, any fucking colonists. So they can't, like, colonize next year and go, grr, give me land. They go, oh, shit, France is taking land from Congo and is going to be more powerful. Maybe I want to, like, stop that, make a status quo, get Congo powerful enough to say, fuck you, France. That kind of shit. That's what Congo really has to do right now. They have to play the Diplo game. Military game, they're going to fail. Because they're past the point where African tech is actually better than Western tech. I think tech 5, tech 7, tech 8, and tech 14. The African tech is better than Western. But right now, tech 17, 18, 19, whatever. It's horrible compared to Western. So, that's off the top of my did head. We... I may be very wrong. But so how's the Diplo? Uh, I don't know kill Diplo. One, uh, Diplo. I haven't. Uh, you mean Diplo? Who are, who are their so, allies? Like, like... Uh, who are their allies? It's Mamluks who dropped. Mm, yeah, the, they should yeah, probably do something. They, they really it. need to work on Diplo there. I haven't. The thing with my reviews, I try to not stay in touch properly with like the Diplo. I try to give my perspective of like a yeah, nation I... currently. <laughs> I haven't even paid attention to this MP, so oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what the Diplo Neither is. Neither do I. I just see people yelling. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> who cares? Um, <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll learn about it real fast once you talk to Gabs, probably. You'll learn that yeah. bias opinion. But um, also, uh, let's just say quick thing. Take the debased currency as that, and then take the remove to corruption, get the free money build whatever you need to as you can, etc, etc. Um, make sure you don't convert this shit to Sunni, because you'll get the uh, extra tax, you'll get the extra manpower, as I've said, and as you remember. So yeah, also, that's more for Slurfin, because he probably hasn't heard me say that before. It's the Dimmy Estate. Um, you get extra manpower, you get extra manpower, uh, extra tax from provinces that are heretic, uh, that are heathen, sorry. And you can also remove the missionary strength thing from him. So he should do this right now. And he doesn't even need to convert. Like, they all just become fucking, like, true faith provinces, basically. Giving him extra fucking modifiers, then true faith provinces. Uh, provinces. Then he just has to culture convert. Which I'd say is worth it for the manpower like, uh, accepted thing, he just converts all of this to Luba, culture, and he'll remove this, like, 33% tax, 33% manpower, etc. He'll remove all that shit, and get the extra 33% from the trade company. Just those little things, that's what I'm here for. I'm, I'm here to give those little, mo those little tips. <laughs> <laughs> um... Wait, what is Maywa? Tag M A W? Tag. I've done it a million times before. M A R? Tag. Uh, M E R, right? Yeah. Um, so Maywa, because we're skipping over Timurids, Mamluks, etc. So the Asian one is going to be a fair bit. Wait, I didn't do Ruthenia and Hungary. Fuck. Who cares? Fuck them. Yeah, that's not important. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> Who cares? Who gives a shit? Um. Oh, he's allied with Japan. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, the Weebs has landed in the... Oh yeah, I, I knew the Weebs landed over here, but I didn't know they would ally with this. I assume, okay, I assume the Japanese allied with the Meiwa just in case another player came in. They wanted to make sure that this Bahamanas was kicked in the fucking pussy. And just... <laughs> What do you want me to say? Dick? Pussy? I don't, I don't give a shit. Same thing. There's enough nerve ending in both. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, they wanted to make sure this Bahamanus was kicked right there. And, like, didn't come east for their Chinese land. Which is smart on the Japanese part. 
But Maywell part as well, you know, they probably want to form either Rajputana or Baharat. Like, you know, to the Rajputs, they only have to get two provinces from uh, Baha, which is this one and this one. Then they get, I don't know the ideas, but I think they're alright. Don't quote me. And you, you didn't you even play Rajputs? Yeah, shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> that, I, like, they were they were decent. The they were decent. They were good ideas. They were good ideas. But I think these may be better. I'm pretty sure these may be better. Like the Maywai ideas may be better. Like the uh, you've got dev cost, you've got manpower, you've got fire damage, you've got discipline, you've got inf combat, you've got prestige, you've got army trad. Like this shit is pretty good. Army tried especially yeah. in this patch, where Army tried was nerfed. Not just uh, switch nations without changing ideas. Uh, you can, but there's no point. Just for the claims and stuff. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I don't think you get the ideas, the uh, the, the uh, missions of the other nation, unless you mm. claim that nation's yeah. ambitions and shit, right? I'm not 100 percent sure. Someone can correct me. I don't really give a shit. Either way. Serkis will figure it out for himself. He's a lot better player than I am. Um, consolidate shit. Make sure you're not paying as much as you have to. This, the two manpower companies are out of man. The two merc companies are out of manpower, so you gotta take note of that. Make sure whatever. If there's no Bahamanas player, then it doesn't really matter. You can just outplay the AI in every fucking day of the week. Um, tech war exhaustion's a big thing. Uh, yeah, Diplo tech doesn't really matter because even though you're making, what's that, 25 ducats, it's better just devving production because you're making 50 production because 33% from Vaishas is just insane. That's something that everyone has to remember for Indians. 33% 33, 33 from Vaishas is much better than fucking 20% from fucking, like, burgers. Like, you, you just have to remember that. 20% from a head and dip? No. 33% from Vaishas, and you dev up those good good Those really good goods? Put a comment in there. I don't fucking know. Captions, you do it for me. And, yeah, that kind of shit. Like, like what would you do as right now, as Maywa? Like, you obviously, you'd have to continue this war because you're in it, but Slurf, and what would you do? Like, honestly, he doesn't have any players to the uh, west or mm -hmm. east for that sake. Yeah. <coughs> Bahamanis doesn't have a player right now. So he can do whatever he wants. Like, <laughs> Yeah. In such a free nation for one of the best players in the fucking game. Yeah, like, and two as sessions ago, like, he Bahamanis was in the was... middle of... Uh, he couldn't expand anywhere, but suddenly he's like free to do whatever because yeah, well, everyone around him dropped or... Here's the, here's the <laughs> thing. Two sessions ago, he wasn't Mewa, he was Norway, and he was going to play 13 colonies. But then the Mewa player dropped, he said, I'll play Mewa, then the Baha dropped after he said he played Mewa, and then it's like, oh, fucking whatever from there. So, like, it wasn't this wave for Mewa originally, there were... They were normally on the back foot, but then AI took over Baha, uh, Bahamanas for whatever, however long, and it just fucked it up enough for, like, a lower nation to properly fuck it. Yeah, well, but I see now him, with everyone else like, dropping, he, it's just free land, yeah, you're right. I see him, like, becoming <laughs> new great power in the region because everything around him is free yeah. land now. <laughs> yeah, and he'll just take advantage of, like, alliances and shit. Like, if Baha allies anyone, he's like, oh, I'm gonna I'm declare on that shit and just reset the truce timer to five years instead of ten. Like, I'm in. <laughs> like, that's that's the kind of play you... That's what you should do. When you're fighting someone and you get that, like, 20-year truce timer, you would then attack, like, an ally that didn't get called in or they just allied, and you then just white piece that person, reset the truce timer to five years, and then you get to go in again for a full 100% when that five year truce timer goes up. And it's like, aight, cool, aight. <laughs> it's just, yeah. I feel like Maywa's just gonna go, boom, it is I, Maywa, hello. I can't do his accent, fucking hurts me, dude. Hurts my soul. <coughs> One second, I'll mute my mic, you say some things. 
Uh, did anyone even take over as Majab Majabahite, <laughs> whatever how you pronounce it? Um, or no. have it been just AI this entire time? I uh, fucking yeah. <laughs> hope not. Do you see this shit? I fucking hope not. Yeah. Like, well, yeah, to be honest, I have seen players. <laughs> yeah, I've seen two players on it, but uh, I haven't uh, seen this. Ooh. I haven't seen this. <laughs> like, I mean, this oh. is perfectly playable. <laughs> yeah, this, this is playable. Some, some streamer would say, uh, <laughs> you know, this is a great position. <laughs> Dude, it has over 200 dev, it's playable. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, Mudgefit has set, actually 650 dev, but it's just fucked. It's kind of just fucked at the moment, like, let's be honest. Like, we don't even need to be honest, it's just the truth. Like, even if you're being <laughs> false, you can't be false about this, it's just fucked. <laughs> like, unless Torshin comes in with some save edits out of the fucking god realm, for anyone who plays this shit, like, bruh, bruh. <laughs> like, it even has... if it's save, and it saves it, like... Yeah, no, there's still... no way to get rid of these rebels. You can't save edit rebels out. <laughs> You'd have to save edit money and, and manpower, and there's no way to regulate that money and manpower and if the uh, player, like, properly deals with the rebels in an efficient manner, and then it's like, wow, well, I gave them too much money and manpower, and now they're just stomping yeah, this other nation that they shouldn't be able to stop. Yeah. You'll be fine. <laughs> well, not 50k, but yeah, that kind of shit. It's just, like, it's so hard. So I think Magic Fit is dead, this this MP. It's just gone. Japan is going to annex it, and that's that's about the end of it. That's about the end of the conversation there. I'm not gonna give it any more time than that. <laughs> I'm sorry, original player Magic Fair Fit, enough. but like, when I see a hundred K rebels in islands, nah, <laughs> I'm good. Um, because you're gonna take those straight crossings, etc. Japan, with Bahamas is gone and making sure it's dead with this war in uh with Mewa, like where he's allied Mewa. He could potentially start fighting Manchu. He could. Is it the smart idea? Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> maybe, but maybe not. <laughs> he but could. Is it more beneficial to yeah, have him as could, a close ally than just do? Yeah. I mean, could, it is definitely it, more <laughs> beneficial. Okay, go on. Majapahit should be like Freeland. the next place to expand. Like, yeah, 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 just hold the trade there. Hundred percent. Indochina, Majifit, Majipuff, the what, how you fucking pronounce it. <laughs> it's, that's the, this is yeah. the land you should take as Japan. Manchu goes east, it uh, goes west, sorry. East, if you go, like, around the globe, and it's like, wow, now this is east of that. Um, no. Manchu goes west, conquers shit, gets whatever. Japan continues deving, continues taking Majifit, continues taking Indochina, starts building out fault lines against Meiwa, and then helps Manchu in wars against the West. That's what happens here. That is the only play I really see happening, because there's no real colonial powers going East right now. Have you? Do you see, like, Japan getting involved in America? Fuck no. He's not gonna Just take... Just to fuck with people. No, no, he's not going to take exploration ideas. He's too, actually, like... You see a lot of guys who are, like, memers, and this guy's like, okay, I'm a memer, but I'm, like, not that much of a memer. Like, I still want to play. <laughs> I still want to have a chance against people. I'm not taking exploration. Fuck that shit. Like, that's what this Japan's like. He's, he's playing, like, a proper Japan, where he's just going, okay, let's go. Let's fucking... Let's take... Asia, let's fuck this shit up, let's dev it up, let's get ready for the West to start trying to come to us. I assume one session, uh, two, ses two sessions away, Meiwa is gonna go against Japan. That's what I think is gonna happen. Or Japan is gonna support Meiwa against Hungary. Either way, it's gonna, something's gonna happen with Japan. Where he's not fighting in Asia. Like, let's be honest. Dude, mozzie bites are fucking my leg and scratching them. Okay. 
mosquito bites if for you uncultured fucks. Um, or get like lethal in uh, Australia, like this. No, <laughs> no that's Africa. Uh, uh, oh yeah. Uh. Same if they're, shit. If they're really fat mosquitoes, like um, you know bull ants. Do you know bull ants? Well, like what bull ants are? We we don't really have that stuff. In okay, the... so really fat mosquitoes, like those are the ones you got to be scared of. The the ones I've been bitten by are just tiny, and that's why I don't realize I've been bitten by them. So it's fine. They just like. I just, I just assume everything Austra in Australia is just. Life America's no, 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 no. America's more fucked. Like I've been hunting in Australia, dude. Yeah, I mean, the people, yeah, but like animals in Australia. What do you, wait, wait, wait! I say hunting, and you say people. <laughs> 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 no, animals in Australia. I've been hunting. I saw like three snakes while hunting, kind of shit. In America, like I hear tales of like fucking like twenty snakes while on the farm, let alone like walking outside of the boundaries. Like fuck that shit. I'm out. <laughs> Rattlesnakes, rattlesnake nests, fuck that. Nah, G, I'm good. Never even seen a snake in the wild. You're a f fucking degenerate. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, Manchu. Last Nation. Ah, 26 minutes. You know, Asia's gonna probably have more views this time as well, like it did last time I made videos. He has a shit ton of money. He has 500k manpower, not enough manpower, he needs more. Um, he needs, and he's got good dev land as well, he's got a bunch of farmlands yeah. here that he can yeah, dev. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know why he doesn't have more, like, dev land, and then once this shit, all this Mongolian, like, livestock shit, which he will own a fair bit of soon. Oh, he's made a march. Why not uh, just integrate that stuff? Yeah, dude, integrate that shit. That's... Okay, if it was, like, really shit, like, fucking wine provinces, and, like, <laughs> other shit that is just horrible, sure, make it a march, fuck it, whatever. Have a few extra K manpower, like, fighting with you in the fights. But this is fucking livestock. This is, like, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of manpower that is gonna help you in fights. AI isn't gonna use that shit. So, like, you have to revoke March, cost that one stab, then you have to cost the relations, which is 195, which means you have to improve relations to Annex again, and then it's just... Ah, oh, it's so weird. Honestly, that's probably the only thing that's gonna be wrong with this Manchu at the moment. Because he's got all the cores for, um, Mongolia. He's built... Look at this, he's built all the, um, nearly all the manpower, except in the farmland shit, which he should. Which he should. <laughs> yeah, like, he can build nearly all of that. And then, soldier households, he can build a few of those as well. He'd probably build more if I didn't build a lot of the inefficient manpower buildings, of the smaller manpower buildings. Like, one more. But, um, you know, like, he, he can do a lot of shit with his money right now. He was probably waiting to test it over the, um, over the saves. Uh, he can take Miltech, but he's, uh, behind on this shit. He has the institution, so that's fine. He'll just wait on that. That's probably what he's saving the money for. Never mind, he's probably saving the money for institutions, um, to get, uh, back onto here without wasting mana. Because right now, he is spending a lot of money on corruption. Like, if we look at corruption right now, this is the- What the fuck? How is he spent? what the fuck? So he's ahead of time on admin. So that's point .15, and then pause stab, so he's not actually spending anything on mana. I- You know, fair enough. Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> um... Normally when you're like sure. four- When you're like four text behind on fucking it, dip, you're meant to be spending a shit ton, right? But I- I guess not. China. You know, they, I guess they know what they're doing. <laughs> like, <laughs> there must be some logic to the fucking chaos. Like, no, okay. Um, there's not really much for me to say about Manchu apart from, you know, probably just save up for fucking institution, save up for the ins and then pay for the institution, then get tech. And when you're over tech cost, whatever, you just dev a little bit until you can afford the institution, then you get tech, and then whatever. And then you just make sure you annex Mongolia. 
like Mongolia is the biggest part. You got to figure out how you're gonna deal with Japan if he ever backstabs you. That's gonna be in your back of the mind, back of your mind every fucking day of the week. Like I don't care if you're going west. I don't care if you're going east. I don't care if you're fucking going south into Australia. You gotta realize that Japan is a threat. He can blockade you. He has a huge, huge mass dude, of land. Dude, like, you're too paranoid. You need no. to relax. You need to believe in people. No, fuck you. He, <laughs> look at this shit. Like he is. Look at this manpower in Japan. He has dev. He has fucking done this so well. Six k, eleven k, twelve k. He can fuck Manchu up. Yeah, but they're friends. You need to believe. Fuck in off! There's no such thing as friends. There's opportunities. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, and I see that happening here. He's building galleys, building heavy ships. He's getting ready for like a naval fight here, and he needs to be ready for that fucking other fight. He needs to be ready for that land fight. He's got a few. He's got two forts here. He needs to build it on. Um, this hill here, he needs to build it on this middle farmland, this middle mountain, just to be sure, he needs to build it on this, uh, Manchurian farmland, uh, mountain, this Manchurian mountain as well, I keep trying to say fountain for some shit, I must be European, and, um, yeah, he needs to be prepared, like, even if he think, even if they are best of friends, you need to be prepared, like, they're in China, where Sun Tzu lived, and, like, bruh, they need to take that shit to heart. Like, bro, I've never read The Art of War, but, like, I know how war works in EU4. People are cunts. That, that's how war works. <laughs> he needs more manpower. He needs to put on his uh, manpower edicts. Where is that? Where have I got that? Where have I got my manpower edicts? There. So he needs to put his manpower edicts on as well because he's got dev edicts, he's got uh, institution edicts. He needs to put his manpower edicts on because we tag to um, France real quick. What the fuck? Torsion! <laughs> Torsion! <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? Ireland. Tag. Uh, no, let's go to Tuscany. What do you. Like, do you not remember any commands today, or...? No, I, I've been drinking while I've been talking, so... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I turn on debug mode, right? Okay, so it needs to be on that. So it's TOS, okay. So we we ban PogChamp in this, okay. Uh, <laughs> TUS. A tag TUS. So, please tell me he has... Oh yeah, okay. Jamie has manpower edicts on. Right? This is what you need to do. You get the manpower edicts on. You go to Ruthenia. What the fuck? Ah! <laughs> what do you mean? Oh my god. I feel so like... Oh my god. I turned it off? What do you mean? Like, usually when I watch your oh, videos, you do it immediately. But like... I know, today, right? Like <laughs> Dude, blame the alcohol. All right, alcohol is bad. Kids don't do it. Um. <laughs> uh. Okay. So, I assume. Yeah. He has. What the fuck is this? Yeah. You need that uh, trade from Krakow. My headset disconnected. Uh. <laughs> my. Uh. What the fuck is this? Why does he have trade power edicts on? <laughs> what? Please, please tell me Hungary is not the fucking same. What the f- <sighs> oh. oh! That fort defense and uh... No, that's not fort defense, that's like institution Denver. spread and dev cost. Oh yeah, yeah. Fort defense is, um, I- Was it green? Yeah, it's green. No. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, green. Yeah. So, dude, 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 what the fuck is this? So that's Hungary, I just did Hungary again. Ukraine is like okay let's look at the man in here right he's got so much green in here what the fuck why isn't it just showing his I just want to see his okay that was supply mode. what okay so he's got yellow in here how the fuck is on point I if he had manpower edicts on did he could fucking 
have so much more manpower. Like, okay, so if we click on this is this estate right here, because no, this estate. This looks like a decent manpower estate. That's 10.1. Uh, 10. Point, uh, let's say 11. Let's say 11. Let's say 11. They're all 10.6. So 25% extra. That's a. F that's what, 13k. Per? So that's an extra like 13, Something like 3k like per thing, right? So that's an extra 9k fucking manpower. That's a lot of manpower for one estate, bruh. What do you mean, bruh? How do you not? How do you not fucking do this? Who gives a shit about trade power? Last fucking review I did, I said, oh my god, you need to change your home trade power thing because it's over here. He did that. He changed it over to something. It should be probably in here. Um, where's he collecting? In what? Does is this his vassal? <laughs> it's his vassal. Okay, never mind. It's his vassal. Um, that's that's not bad because there's like an extra node that pushes in. Oh, uh -huh, it's yeah. There's extra node pushes into it. There's less control of other nations. A lot of German nations have right. control over Polish because that's what the oh. Polish have. Germans just fuck him in the arsehole every day of the week and uh, <laughs> and, uh <laughs> okay uh, uh and uh fucking but no this is all right because there's it's only the british yes he can contest with and he can embargo the british he can reduce that trade power instead of in reducing the trade power of like four different nations five or five different nations whatever so i feel like this is actually the better one um, to push trade power to. So, he's not pushing power as he is? 5.96? Is he actually pushing power? Where is his? So he's been pest. He's pushing trade power up there, which doesn't make sense because he's not collecting in there. He is. He's collecting in so many nodes. What the fuck? Okay, so he's got 44% in here. Kind of makes sense to collect in here. Kind of makes sense to collect in here. Where's this fucking other node? Lubeck. Why the fuck is he collecting in Lubeck? Like, you can push trade power. You have nearly majority trade power in the fucking uh, Crimea. Crimea. 40%. You can push... That's a lot of money yeah, just pushing it. <laughs> you can push that up to Kiev. And you're like, oh, but Hungary is his closest ally. Fuck Hungary! Go for yourself! <laughs> fuck your allies! If you're stronger than your allies, your allies won't ditch you. If your allies are stronger than you, your allies will ditch you. That's how this game works. Unless they're compassionate, which Martian said he would give Constantinople to Mamluks, and uh, which and uh, we see how this works out. So, <laughs> <laughs> so like we know how this is gonna work. So fuck him. Pull the money up here. Fuck this fucking pest shit. You're not gonna get money out of that. Pull that up here, pull it in Novgorod, you're gonna make so much more money than he is. That's a lie. You may make about the same amount of money that he is, but at least you're gonna make money. Unlike him just going, well I have money, fuck him. Go fuck him, I don't give a shit. Ireland, go, go kill him. I don't care. <laughs> like, bruh. You always gotta think about yourself. This may like sound like the most pessimistic shit, but like, your allies will ditch you if you're in a horrible position. So you gotta make sure you're in the best position you could possibly be uh, possibly be in, so that way your allies don't ditch you. Right? That's how fucking logic works. That's how fucking Martian thinks, that's how Torsion thinks, that's how Ireland thinks, that's how Spain thinks, that's how everyone thinks. So if you're in the best position you can be, Hungary's like, yo, yo, he pretty strong, I don't wanna ditch him though, right? So I'm gonna stay with him. Even though he's taking money from me, like, uh, I, I don't want to fight over that money, because that's kind of just, like, a bunch of hassle for fucking nothing. Like, it's so much lost power, which then Tuscany can take advantage of, Bavaria can take it, France can take advantage of. It's like, he won't do shit to counter you in this. He can't do shit to counter you in this. You can just become stronger and stronger and stronger, and just make Bav a Hungary reliant on you. He'll still, well not reliant, he'll still have that Constant Constantinople trade from taking the rest of Constantinople, then Aleppo, then etc. But he won't have that Crimea trade, and you're pushing 31 ducats at a fucking Crimea. 
48% of, what's the fucking total value here? 629 is, what, 18, then times by whatever? How is it 31? What? Th sorry, 29 ducats is... That's 29, uh, that's 17, 6, 15 ducats that you could probably pull out of Crimea into Kiev. 15 fucking ducats into your eco with 10k ducats. Yeah, he can build a lot of stuff if you ask Yeah, for it. he has soldier households he apparently can't build. <laughs> can't build anymore. What the fuck? Delete these manufactories. Delete these manufactories on these um, livestock. Delete them. Like, I know you don't need the manpower, but you don't need the eco either. When you have the manpower and you have the men, you don't need eco for those men. Because you have the fucking 10 trillion man... Oh, sorry, 10 trillion manpower. Fuck the eco, just take debt. Who gives a shit? Honestly, who gives a shit about debt? People who care about debt are the ones who go, Oh, fuck, it's a negative number. Oh, it's bad. Bad number. It's debt, bad. <laughs> It's it's a low okay. What what? What's Levin? Minus money. Yeah, minus money. You're like, oh my god, minus money is so bad. Oh no, ah, I'm failing. But no, debt the main thing you the main thing I have to work on myself is being prepared to take debt to win wars. Cause if you win a war and you've taken debt and you make gain in land and shit. You can still dev that land, then you pay off the debt, and then you've got the land with the manpower and the eco from that land afterwards as well, and you've got continued economy from that. Who gives a shit about the minor decrease in eco that you have for the longer term eco? Fuck it. Who cares? Delete these fucking ma like livestock manufactories. Build the soldier households there. Get up to 2 million manpower at fucking 1650. Because that's how long it will take, let's be honest, to build all of them. So, it's 1614 right now, 1650 by the time, he could have like, 2 million manpower. And he could just roll over probably, whoever the fuck he wants. He would probably, like, way on his way if he actually put on the edict as, as well. As well, yeah. Dude, he'd be like, 1.5 men- 1.5 million with edicts on like, nearly everything. Your eco will take a yeah. hit. Sure. But manpower is meta, and as much as I hate meta in nearly every game, in EU4, it is essential, ne like, basically essential that you play meta if you want to win a competitive game. In League of Legends, you cannot play meta, and you can just be the better player and still win. In EU4, you can be the better player, but have zero manpower, and you'll fucking lose. So you need that manpower, you need that meta, to just... You need that fucking shit. You need that combat ability. Like, combat ability in general means nothing. Combat ability is now just manpower. Manpower equals combat ability, because the more men you have, the more you can keep fighting, the more you can drain the fuck out of the other nation, then bankrupt them, and then just destroy them. As you just keep sieging their land, while they're like, Oh, I'm fighting you! Oh, whatever! It's like, yeah, but yeah, but I'm, I'm still here. So yeah, that was, that's what makes Russia so strong, but... Finally, Russia didn't form. If <laughs> Ruthenia was Russia, I think he'd have more manpower. Because it's 50... It's 30% manpower for Russia, right? And yeah. he gets the 10% IE combi combat uh, modifier. I don't know if he gets disc, but he definitely gets morale, I think, right? I don't know about I Russia. Yeah, I, I can't honestly remember either. But, like, either way, it's still the same fucking scenario. Like, fuck the eco, go for the manpower, you can roll over anyone you fucking want, and just take debt when you need to, and pay it off whenever. Because the, when you roll over someone, you're gonna take their land. When you take their land, you take their trade power. When you take their trade power, you're getting more money. When you're getting more money, you pay off your debt. When you have more money from taking their land, you can take more debt to take more land, to take more... To pay off your debt, etc., etc., etc. It's this fucking snowball of just fuck everyone. I'm I'm currently pointing the middle <laughs> finger at the screen right now, like. <laughs> just like wrap this up. <laughs> yeah, I'm wrapping it up right now. I'm just very angry right now at the amount of fucking farmlands that uh. Sorry, I was pressing the wrong button. 
the, the amount of fucking, like, livestock that doesn't have soldier households on it. It's just so aggravating. Like, all this grain as well. It's just... Oh. So fucking aggravating. Oh, God. Look at all this shit. Look at all of it. Oh, God, I'm gonna... Oh, ah. Okay. Uh, have a fun time. Well, what a good review. Yay, fuck you. Yeah. And the review stopped. No, no, it didn't.